So in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the image position on your web page. So you see right now, whenever you place an image on your web page, it's going to be aligned to the left always. So that's what happens uh, by default, but we can change that. So it's always a good idea to use classes. So I'm going to give this image a class name. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. And right here, you see we have the width here and the height. So we are going to put a space here and type in class equals to and then two quotation marks. So right here, we can name it anything we want. So I'm going to call it my image. All right, you can name it uh, the header or whatever, or the main image, it's up to you. I'll keep it simple, my image, because I have one image. So I'm gonna keep it simple, my image. And remember the name of that class. So you see, whatever value you add inside of the quotations, you have to memorize it. So I named it my image. Now I'm going inside of the head. So this is the head, I'm using uh, my style sheet here. Uh, if you're using an external sheet, it's fine. It's up to you. Uh, but inside of the style tag, so you see this is the end of the style tag, and I have placed all of my style tag, I mean, all, all of my styling inside of the style tag. So right here at the very end, still inside of the style tag, I can type in dot and then my image and open to curly braces. So inside of the curly braces, if we have selected that image, so we have selected that image with you using this specific class name, let's say that we want to uh, push it a little bit to the right. So I can say margin dash left, because I want to add some gap to the left of it. So margin dash left, 120 pixels. So you see, when you type that in, it's going to push it to the left. Okay, what about if we want to push it more? Well, if you want to push it more, you can basically add more here. For example, instead of saying 120, I can change it to 280, 280 pixels. And as you notice, we have pushed it even more. Um, now, uh, if you want to push it a little bit down from the top, you can say margin dash top colon and then let's say 100 pixels all right and as you see we have moved it down from the top now if you want to move it even more you can of course use more for example mar margin dash top so you are saying push that element from the top all right uh with 100 pixels but i can change it to 200 pixels and it will give it even more space so what if i want this image to be perfectly centered well i'm going to show you how to do that so i can say display block all right because when you add display block it's going to be by itself it's not going to allow anything next to it all right so it's going to be by itself i'm just adding that there and i can say margin colon zero auto and add a semicolon there kaboom we have that there you see it's perfectly centered but now, you see, by using margin colon zero auto, uh, I'll not be able to move it down. So I can say margin dash left auto. So you see, when you add margin dash left auto with display block, it's going to place it all the way to the right. So this is another option. Uh, now you can see it. Uh, let's say now we want to center it. So we have set the margin left to auto, and I'm going to set margin dash right to auto. So margin dash right auto, and now you see it's perfect. So now I can 
use the margin top if I want to move it down from the top. So margin dash top colon 20 pixels. And we have placed that image there nicely. All right. So I think this is it for this video. And um, I hope this video was helpful. So I hope that we have a basic idea about how to move the images around your web page. All right. So I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.